Hey everybody, and we're back for more uh, Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. John, once again, with uh, joined by Al. Hello. And when last we left off, we were okay. Yeah, we just we we made our way through the nightmare the nightmare that was the you know the insect of of Route Three. Oh God. Or whatever it was, you know, the insect forest with all its myriad horrors. <laughs> Leaving a trail of slaughtered children, bereft of their lunch money. <laughs> hey, do the wait now that guy there? Do do the do the crazy people respawn or is this wait? Oh, okay, no. That... All right. Okay, yeah, we took the tunnel from Saru. We have already uh, deposed the grim tyrant of the first gym, that rock guy. Well, it's pretty easy to remember. It's Brock, so it's just Brock. One okay. Off. <laughs> yes. Okay. And made this little. Uh... Luckily, and uh, this little, you know, rest station. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Yep, now, they're who assholes. Are, now, you, are, they, are they in the show or just in the game? Uh, no, they're they're in both. Um, Team Rocket is pretty much a uh, organized crime group, or the closest thing that you're going to get to it in, in the series. And okay. pretty much their goal is to steal other people's Pokemon. Okay. Sometimes you'll have too many Pokemon with you to add any more. In that case, you should just store some using any PC. Okay, yeah, we'll just... Okay, set six Pokeballs in my belt. Yeah, that'll do it. At most, you can have six Pokemon with you. Let's see, it's bald guy. Hello there, laddie! Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon. A magic crap magic magic carp. I thought it was a magic crap for a second. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be too far off. Um, uh, magic carp is the... I, I guess ostensibly weakest Pokemon in the series, but really? he evolves into something good. So, for just uh, for just five hundred Pokeland fun bucks, so you'll buy it. Am I right? No, Should I? No, definitely not. No. No, you say no. I'm only doing this as a favor to you. Okay, no, he's can we not. Catch one our, <laughs> can we catch one ourselves later? Yeah, definitely. Um. Once you have the the first fishing rod, the old rod, you can literally fish anywhere, and you'll get a magic harp. Okay. Ooh, that's clear. Hey, hello. My name is Tila. This must be your first time up here. I'll show you how the wireless communication system works. First, I need to show you this floor of our Pokemon Center. Right this way, please. In the top floor, there are two rooms. First, the room on the left. It's the Union Room. You may link up with the trainers around you who have also entered the Union Room. Now I assume that's like the wire that's like the the intergame connection function that game of Game Boy Advance. Right? Yep. That let you like trade Pokemon or battle each other or whatever. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay. With them, you may do things like chat, battle, and trade. Second, the room on the right is the direct corner. You may trade or battle Pokemon with your friends in this room. If the wireless adapter isn't connected, you may still link up using a GBA game link cable. If that is the case, you must go to the direct corner. Hope you enjoy the wireless communication system. Yep, and that's the same as the PC downstairs, just so you can, you know, switch Pokemon or things like that. Okay, the Pokemon Wireless Club Union Room. Fortunately, your wireless adapter is not connected properly. Damn. <laughs> Welcome to the Pokemon Cable Club. Which of our services do you wish to use? Trade Center, Coliseum. I don't have any trainers. I don't have any fellow trainers around at the moment, so... Not at the moment. Maybe later. <laughs> what's, what's this guy with... This guy got some sort of clipboard or something with... I think it's supposed it's to be in yeah, newspaper. Oh, it's a newspaper. I like how I like how so many so many items objects in this game actually have little descriptive text and such. It is kinda cool, just like the amount of detail that they at least try to put in it. Mount Moon, tunnel entrance. Alright. Yeah, we've heard of this place. I think there were mentions of Team Rocket possibly being involved in some sort of shenanigans here. Yep, they're trying to steal the moonstone. Okay. Now, and, okay, oh, now I should mention, uh, Pokemon, things have mostly not changed, but I did do some off-camera, uh, level, leveling. Oh, thank God. I was hoping that you did. <laughs> and, um, there was one new development. Oh? In that L underwent a strange Yay! and terrible transmogrification into... Butterfree. Bug flying. 
Hooray! Serious nature. Met him pretty in force at level 5. Hey, ability. Compound eyes. Raises accuracy. It's not bad. Butterfree's a good, uh, good low-level special attacker. Well, Confusion is a Psychic-type ability. Yep. And L is a bug and flying. Which is interesting, because don't flying attacks usually mess up bugs? Yep. Okay. Okay, now. So, that's about the only... Other than that, things are... Aside from that, pe people are... Higher level now, or are higher level now, but things haven't really changed much. So, last time, but okay. Mount Moon. Oh, that's nice. You got a little exterior shot. He's mad, isn't he? Beware! Zubat is a blood sucker. <laughs> no, just Zubat's fucking annoying. Oh no, we're being attacked. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. So and why, why are you picking a fight? <laughs> Lass Iris would like to battle. Sent out Clefairy. Go, hell. Whoa, that's level fourteen there. See if, see if it's. See if your terrible psionic Akira-esque powers will <laughs> avail us anything. Whoa! Oh, it actually- it, it, oh, it hurt them! I, I assumed it would just be like, uh- Oh, no. No, it's an actual oh. attack. What- what the hell?! Oh, wow, it hit the maximum amount of times first five try? Times. Wow, that's some bad luck. Like, that is that, super bad luck. And that psychic attack didn't do all that much. Okay, I thought that was like some sort of glitch for a second. All right, Logan, let's let's try you. It's encore, but it failed. Scratch, leer, kick it in the nuts. Well, well, it's a girl, but what could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's super effective. But uh oh, oh Flair no! Flick Fairy's cute charm has infatuated Logan. And, and now I've gotten an encore. What? what does encore that do? actually just makes you do the same move over and over. Well, that's okay. I mean, it's super, that move is super effective. Oh no! Immobilized by love. Yep. Growl. Now you have a random chance of him Logan. just not doing anything that turn. Logan's attack fell. Oh, love is over. <laughs> it's super effective. I'll swap someone else in. I mean, I'll lose the turn, but I'm, I risk losing a, the turn every turn with Logan being all mind controlled or whatever. Lizzie, poison this bastard! Oh no! Two, three. Oh my God! This cool fairy, though. All right, yeah, you're poisoned. Yeah, poison, nice. Let's swap, swap out again. Should I bring in the big guns, Corey? Or yeah. you might, you might want to. Yeah, just, just to get it over with. Stop the bloodshed. <laughs> this is good. This is, we, they've like maimed half our our fighting force already. Yeah, that's what happens. I mean, when you when you're in the beginning of the game, a couple levels makes a really big difference. Oh, already poison. Okay, it doesn't do damage. Just oh no, not the double slap. No, two. One thing about this creature is, like, from this perspective, the flower is so big on it that like. It looks like the flower is the Pokemon. You can barely tell that there's like a lizard under there. All right, help. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I'm. I'm sure. I'm switching you back in just so you can be in at the death there. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. That's. Oh, I was about to say I don't know if that's a good idea, but I decided not to actually attack. 
So, that worked out. <laughs> there we go. You had to switch in so many people. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a level 9. Nice. Now, she's some sort of cocoon po type pokey type thing at the moment, so maybe she'll transform soon, too. Maybe. Player defeated Last Iris. I lost! Well, Jungle. yeah, All you right. only had one Pokemon. That's a pretty tough one, though. Yeah? I'm actually going back to the healing center. That's that's probably oh. not a bad idea. Oh, uh -oh Jesus. random battle. Zubat, I knew it. Wild Zubat. This is what you have to look forward to in caves. <laughs> what, Zubat? <laughs> Zubat after Zubat after Zubat. Really? Yep. Whoa! Critical hit! Astonish! Odd name for just an attack that just does damage. Or does it have any potential additional effect? Uh, does what now? Astonish? Oh, no, it, it just pretty much goes first and makes you flinch for that turn. Instead of actually doing anything, but it only really oh, okay. works so, oh, at the beginning, so... Oh, so it can stop your attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. That becomes too much of a problem. I could swap in Jade. She has that quick attack thing that lets her go first. Automatically. I don't really think it's going to be a problem. I mean, because like I said, well, yeah. it really only works the one time. And Zubat doesn't seem all that tough. No, no, Zubat's definitely not tough. Especially with you having a confusion there. It'll pretty much just wipe them out. Oh, would that be an effective ability against him, you think? Yep, because they're, they're poison types and confusion is psychic. And for some reason, psychic kills poison. I'm not really sure what the rationale behind that is, but it's there. I came because I heard there are some very rare fossils here. Then I decided to just engage in random violence against innocent passersby. Oh, it's quite me. I don't have a Zubat. I could. I should try to capture this one. Right. Whoa! Being attacked by duckies. Wait again. Is this stun? Oh. It doesn't even really do a whole lot of damage at all. All right. Tag him and bag him. Yep, pretty much. Actually, down to one Pokeball. You've been catching a bunch lately. That's not a bad thing. It has no eyes. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Instead, it relies on its ultrasonic cries for echolocation to flit about in the darkness. It makes sense. Which honestly makes its <laughs> it makes its evolution even more creepy in in that it grows eyes and rather large ones at that. That's just yeah. It's just kind of like wh where where did this come from? <laughs> All right. So what should we name this one? Oh, hmm. That's a good question. This is, it's, an, it's it's another female. Hmm. But I'll just go with. I'll, I'll just pick game characters at random. This is Yuffie. Of Final Fantasy VII fame. You know, I never really liked Seven. I actually thought it was one of the weaker entries, if you ask me. I'm more of a Six. Six is my favorite. Yes, okay, then I'm alright Even, Even though, like, objectively, it's kind of a... It's got some serious programming problems. It <laughs> does, but I mean, if you're just talking in terms of Like, the of evade the story, stat just doesn't oh do it. Like, as I recall, the evade stat just doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, it was a little bit... Boring. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> just by accident. Oh, it's my favorite in the series, but yeah, it's... it's... Alright. I don't think there's anything wrong with being able to admit that your favorite game in a series isn't perfect. All right, I I picked Yuffie because you mentioned these enemies getting pretty annoying, and Yuffie irritated <laughs> the hell out of me. Certainly, so. Uh -oh. Wild Geo dude appeared. Well, oh yeah, Brock had one of these, didn't he? Yep. He was vulnerable to what was it? Uh, Water, grass? grass, yeah. Either of those. It's unfortunate that that means Cory. I'd rather. Some more level. Oh well. 